Okay, this is just a quick overview um, of how to do things like adding and editing product categories, tags, shipping classes, and attributes. Um, we're just going to focus on categories, but basically the same things apply to the other ones. They're not all exactly the same, but the same concepts. Um, so for example, let's say we're looking here, we're like, well, I don't have a good category for this product to fit into. Well, you can simply just click here and add it a new product category. But let's say you want more detail on that product category. Well, you can just click here, go to product categories, and then what you have to do is just type in the product uh, category here, uh, whatever you want to title it. So in this case, let's just say uh, Special deals, if that's what we wanted to do. Uh, the slug is actually usually just a simplified version of that with no spaces like this. And then if we want to have it uh, underneath another category, so you can do hierarchical categories, which means one can be a parent to another category. So if we wanted this to be a child category to say special clearance, then we just select that here or leave it as none if we want it to be its own deal. Um, here you can put in a description as you can see it will display over here and some stores depending on your theme and your options um, will display this information at the top of the product category when we're viewing it. So for example on this particular one the wrist throwers here if we go over to the store you can see here that it displays this at the top of the category listing. So here's all the products that are in that category and then the product category here and the description of the uh, category here. We still have to clip to go through to individual items like this. Um, so here's our individual item. So that's, you can see that that's different from what we see here when we're seeing everything in that category. Um, so you can set that here in the description. You can also set a thumbnail, which might also appear if your theme supports it once again. Um, you just add upload image like this, you drag and drop an image onto here, and once it's uploaded, it will set that as your category image. And that will, like I said, be displayed here in these little boxes, and then in most cases will also be displayed in your store when you're viewing the entire category. Um, and that's really all there is to it. You just click Add pro New Product Category. Now let's say you want to change the order of the categories for some reason. You can do that simply by dragging and dropping. You just click and drag the item to where the category to where you want it to be and drop it on down. And most of what we've discussed here works for tags, which are just another way to uh, sort your items, um, but they don't have parent and child tags. They don't, they aren't hierarchical. Um, shipping classes is just different uh, groups that you can group your items into to set different shipping prices. And attributes is a neat one because you can give your items additional attributes that aren't set in the store itself. And again, so as you can see here, it's the same kind of thing. Um, but for example, for this particular store, it's important that we had a different way to put the weight in than the normal way and also a way to set the types of metals that are used. So we can put those additional attributes there and you can make, and then if, if they're input on the individual item, so you add the attribute here and then if they're input, you input that attribute on the actual item, then you'll be able to see it in your store. And I demoed this in another video, but I'll just show you again real quick here. So this is a different store than the one I've been showing you the products for, but these are attributes right here under additional information. So you can add them here um, where I showed you. And then you go to the individual products and edit the individual products and set them to be what you want them to be.